welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. Um, if you're new here, welcome. So, welcome to, I guess, talking about anxiety and stuff. So, today I'm just going to uh, quickly talk about random things that give me anxiety. And it's just, like, random. It's not, like, anything, like, serious issues or anything. So, stuff that I can deal with. Um... This is actually inspired by uh, Ellen DeGeneres. I love her. I love that show. Uh, I watched her stand-up comedy, and she was talking about um, the waiter or whatever not writing things down. I don't know if it was just a joke or if it actually did, did fill her with anxiety. So yeah, I'm going to share what fills me with anxiety. So one is... Um, Christmas tags so when you're saying like who it's from if it's for your parents I have another sister so I just say if, if it's to my dad from Santa or whoever because I even though I it's supposed to be for me I don't like I don't know I just I just it gives me anxiety so I'm just like you know what it's gonna be from Santa or from the whole family I'm just gonna put it at that and I know it's like a silly thing but it's, it's something that I'm just unsure of like what I should do like should I like should I say it's from me or should I just say it's from the whole family and I do just just to avoid like fighting or whatnot you know even though it isn't my family doesn't it doesn't really matter but I still get that worry which is weird um second is like the volume on the tv it has to be an even number I like it when it's an even number or like the radio even too. It has to be like a certain loudness so I can hear it. And if it's not there, it'll bug me. So I have to either turn it, turn it up or walk away because it, it'll be too loud for my parents. It's, it's like a weird feeling that I have. Um, when others injure themselves, you know, you cringe sort of. I feel like that's a common thing. When someone like cuts their hand open and you're just like, it makes you all tingly inside or if you think about someone giving someone else a needle and you're just like no gotta look away I get like little anxieties like that um like other common anxieties when things are crooked on the wall it bothers you or when someone writes on, on chalk and then you leave like that little excess chalk behind when you erase it um one thing that drives me nuts is socks with a hole in it. So if it was in like your toe, you know, you'd think to change the sock or throw it out. Sometimes I, I choose just to wear it, but then it bugs me that whole day, and I'm and like that's all I'm thinking about is that hole in that sock and to take that sock off, cause and I can't because I'm at work, so I have no choice but to wear it, and you know, and which brings me back to my last. Thing. and there's a few more but I just can't think of them right now the other one is forgetting to put on deodorant I, I shower I promise I'm clean my hygiene is clean but I do but like sometimes I'll forget to put on deodorant and it bothers me to the very core I'll feel like after I shower like the stickiness there and it just bothers me so if I'm at work for eight hours and I'm just like that's another thing that I'll think about a lot um, I think a lot of this has to do with OCD too, and not just like anxiety, but a little bit of OCD where it's like, I have to have deodorant, I have to have whole whole socks, not not socks with holes in them. Um, even in when I was in school, I'd bring deodorant with me in my purse. Same, um, yeah, I'd bring a deodorant with me. Sometimes a toothbrush too. Um, I have to shower every day too, which is another thing. If I don't, that will drive me nuts as well. It's weird. I guess it's just a hygienic, maybe it's just like OCD with my hygiene. I'm not too sure. Uh, anyways, let me know below what gives you like random things that give you anxiety. Um, and yeah, and I guess I could say that this isn't sponsored, but you know. And lastly, outfit of the day. I wearing uh, these jeans I bought from Urban Outfitters. Ugh, let me get up. I think I've shown them in past videos with this uh, nice wintry looking sweater, considering it's winter here where I'm from. 
Excuse me. Anyways, that is it for today. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.